How do I apply my drumming? So what's very, very, very cool is that I could get into a time machine and go back to any time, go back to any culture that's established enough to be, be at least be banging on logs in the forest or on the, you know, or just doing body percussion out in the desert. I could go in a time machine and go hang out with any homo sapiens, probably even, you know, the some primates and we could jam. And so the way I apply my drumming is for all of it. Every genre of music across antiquity has percussion in it. Now, not every not every piece of music has a drummer in it, you know, like a clarinet trio it doesn't have like some drum set player going on. But if there are clarinets nearby, there are also drums within a square mile somewhere at some guy's house. So within that culture, there's always drums. So I can get into a time machine and go back to any time where people are jamming and I've got something to do. I can step right in, especially the further back in time I go, when things are simple. Now, if I get a time machine and go into the future, you know, the. <laughs> The, 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 the drummers in the future will be smoking me for what I am able to do now because they're just getting better and better. It's, it's, it's fascinating to watch these, the, you know, the new kids on the block just cutting it up like a hot knife through butter. It's really, really impressive. So I'm able to apply this to anything. And even if I don't have sticks, even if I don't have drums or something to hit, like we did, I, we, we, can, we have body percussion. The, you know, the center of our chest is a nice deep sound, and smacking our leg is a nice high sound. And so we can bring this anywhere. If we're stuck in prison, we, you know, we, could, we could do this. Uh, if, we're, if, I, if I'm on a, a really well-lit stage with a full 100-piece orchestra, I, and me wearing the bow tie, which I've, that's most of what I've done. Uh, this, this here is called marching percussion, where we see a, a whole drum line do a thing. In fact, this is, this here is marching percussion, which is differentiated from symphonic percussion, where we have, you know, a concert snare drum, a concert bass drum, and cymbals, and we have violin players, you know, going to town, and we're playing Mozart and Beethoven and all the and all the good stuff, Mahler. So, but the, here is a glimpse of what what drumline is, and I'll turn this up as much as I can. So that's a little example of marching percussion where we have a drum line and you know snares, tenors, and then a bass line where we have five bass drums but one person on a, a, a staggering uh, level of drums, high to low. And then symphonic percussion would be, you know, doing stuff like this for some symphonic piece. Very different styles of playing. So to answer your question and to wrap this up, uh, I've had a, it's been really fun being able to do this. And I'm so glad my 12 year old self or my nine year old self was just like, yeah, and just <laughs> practiced. And, and I'm, I'm really, really glad to have put in the time because this feels like magic. I, I, I look, it looks like, like, it doesn't even look real to me. You know. I, 
I do know what it's doing, uh, but like looking at it objectively, or even just watching a video of myself, it just or, or or these guys playing, it just looks like magic. I feel like I'm like I'm a sorcerer, and I'm just like at Hogwarts, just you know, toiling up some 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 spells and and you know, manifesting supernatural things. So I'm it's it's been fun, and I've been applying it all over the place, including teaching, which I I love teaching way more than I love playing. I love playing, so that's saying something. So, alrighty. Thanks for showing up, everybody.